Okay. Good afternoon. Uh, it is. Well, apparently it's uh, four minutes to three in the morning on my Garmin, but it definitely isn't. I'll have to check my phone. Because I feel like it's quite important to know the time right now. Just so we know what direction the sun is in. Okay, how are we doing, guys? Uh, yeah, welcome back to another vlog. I believe this is number five. We're doing all right so far, aren't we? Um, it is 20 past seven on Monday the 27th of June. Oh my word, that is not a good start. <sighs> um, are these the right trainers? Nah, I'm gonna go back and put my running shoes on because if I'm slipping over on that, then I'm in for a bad evening. Right, we'll start again. Feel a lot better in these running shoes. So we are actually, I'm so underprepared. I, I'm gonna be honest, I actually have no idea where I am. Um, I literally typed in hike on Google Maps. Went, yeah, that looks all right. And have come here, found a parking spot. It's pretty busy, so I think I'm near a beach. There's a lot of families around and everything, but uh, it's a good start. Um, but yeah, the idea of this evening is to just get lost pretty much. I wanna get my steps in, I wanna go on a hike, I wanna see some unbelievable views. Um, yeah, I wanna try and put out some wholesome content today. Um, the last few vlogs have just been me going out to the nightclubs and obviously seeing the obvious parts of Ibiza which is the nightlife and the DJs and all that good stuff. Um, but with Ibiza, I've been told that there is so much more to just the nightlife. Um, it is a beautiful island. I mean, this is where we're starting off. It is a beautiful island. There are some unbelievable beaches, some amazing hills and hikes. Um, and yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna go explore. Um, I am finding out where we are. Cala Salada. I don't know if you can see that, Cala Salada. So we've parked up, um, I'm guessing, yeah, this is a beach, um, but I did see that there's a really good hiking route around here as well. So like I said, no real plan. I kind of want to get lost. Obviously I know where I'm parked, which is the main thing. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to just pick a direction and just walk. And you know, when I get a bit tired or a bit bored, I'll turn around and come back. Um, and yeah, you're gonna join me on my little adventure. So. Last night I was at Glitterbox at High. It was like my third time at High in probably like eight days or something like that. So um, don't get me wrong, the event was brilliant. Uh, Purple Disco Machine, wow. I've always wanted to see him play live. And last night I got to do so in the perfect setting at High for Glitterbox. It doesn't get much better than that for a Sunday night. Um, just really groovy. He's got his own unique sound, you know? Um, he played pretty much all his own productions, all of it, he's got some amazing remixes and yeah, it was just, it was just a fantastic vibe. Um, I've got a video from my story or I've got a couple of videos that I can post. And now... Wow. Imagine living up there. I'm breaking a sweat already. <laughs> I'm really, really hoping that by the time the sun sets, we're in a really beautiful spot and I've got a great view. So yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't done much preparation for this at all. If anything, I've done absolutely no preparation for this. Um, but sometimes they're the good ones, you know? Okay, so I've no idea if this is a hiking route, but uh, I'm just gonna go check it out anyway, and if I have to come back this way, then so be it. 
Um, but yeah, I just want to explore the beach a little bit first. We've got a load of time. I've got nothing planned this evening. Um, so yeah, maybe if we just explore the beach for a bit first and then if I get stuck, I can actually look on my phone for an actual route um, on Strava. But yeah, we're just sort of getting around this little bit of the beach right now. Oh yeah, let's head up here. Bit of parkour. Uh, parkour. Okay, so on this hike, I wanted to make sure that, you know, I'm not doing anything silly. I'm in a foreign country, it's hot weather. So just to make sure that, you know, I'm relatively safe. I've got a load of water on me. I've got like this bag that I used to take on me when I was into my running load. So I've got uh, two little bottles of water. I've got another bottle of like a sort of a Lucas Aid sort of drink. Um, I have got a towel uh, just in case I find somewhere I can take a nice little dip in the water. Uh, I've got my vest just covering my shoulders at the moment just in case the sun was a bit too much for my skin. Sun cream, AirPods, mobile phone which is fully charged, obviously my GoPro, I've got some sunglasses and the thing that's gonna make this quite difficult Oh, well, these bad boys. I've got some uh, ankle weights on. Um, yeah, just make things a little bit more challenging. Obviously, I want to I wanna try and treat this as a bit of a workout as well. Um, I've been going to the gym most mornings whilst I've been out here because, you know, I'm out here for two months. So I want to get a, nice, a good routine of being healthy and looking after myself still as well as, um, as, well as going out and, you know, not worrying too much about what I eat. Um, you know, if I go to the gym in the morning, you know, it makes me feel a bit better of myself when I when I eat a ridiculous amount of tapas. Or I have a Burger King, which I may say is unbelievable out here. I don't know what they put in it. And to be honest, I don't care. The Burger Kings out here is unreal. Okay, we're making progress. I don't know if you can see it. Just imagine living up there that's the dream that is the dream so my idea for this hike was that whenever i got to a really picturesque spot i'll obviously turn the camera on and get some views and so far i've pretty much videoed the whole route so far um simply because it's just all beautiful like i've just got over this little hill and look we've got a rock um Again, no idea what that rock is. I literally know as much as, well, I don't know, there might be people watching this who know Ibiza a lot better than me, but if you don't know Ibiza, I know as much as you right now. I have no idea what that is. When I get back on the edit, I'm gonna look on the map, so. So yeah, I'm actually giving you some information during this video. Tell you what, I'm gonna put the GoPro away for a bit because I'm gonna get my head down, get some steps in and see if we can uh, maybe get around this, get over that. And then I'll see you in a bit. Oh shit, there's a dog. Oh shit. He don't look too happy. Okay, I'm off, I'm off, I'm off. Ready? Watch this. Okay, you ready? You ready? Parkour! Oh. So here we go. I'm gonna take this road up here, get some uh get some KMs in. Kilometers. Beautiful man. I am so happy I chose to do this. I'm a little bit gutted that it's taken me like three weeks to to do something like this, but I'm definitely gonna do this a lot more. Look at that White House. What well, imagine living there? Look at the state of me. <laughs> that is the dream. That is the dream right there. I want your house. I'm gonna knock on the door and go, you alright mate? You don't know me, but uh, in about three, four years, hopefully sooner, um, I'm going to be, I'm going to have my own headline show out here and I'll be from, I'm going to buy your house. Name a price. Hey, we can all dream. <laughs> wow. Okay, shade. Lovely stuff. So, honestly, no idea where we're going, but yeah, I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun. 
So I was just thinking, um, I, I basically love watching YouTube. I don't watch, I hardly watch Netflix. Um, I love watching YouTube and I like watching like runners, hikers and all that sort of stuff. Have you seen, they do them clips where it's like, just them walking on their own without the camera and you're like, how do they do that? But I figured out how you do it, but it's just pretty ridiculous to be honest. So what I've got to do is I've got to put the camera there, all right? Then do this, right? It looked really cool walking. Like this, yeah? And then you'll walk, you'll walk back again and pick it up. And then in the edits, it looks really cool, but I've literally just, I've just repeated the same, same bit. So um, I'm going to be honest, I can't be bothered doing that. I know it looked good for the video, but I just can't be asked. So I'll do that one for you. And that's it. Probably for the rest of my YouTube career, I'm, I'm not going to do it because it's just, I just can't be bothered. Sorry guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Okay, so just come down from this trail and we found a path which looks, uh, it's got some tracks on it. So I'm going to take that as my invitation to walk down it all. Um, Oh yeah, Let's see if we can get a nice view on the edge of this cliff here. Oh, this is beautiful, man. I know I've said this before, but I'm having so much fun. I've just, I'm sweating so much. I'm really sorry if it's like really visible uh, that I'm sweating loads, I do apologize. Um, I think my body is extremely good at regulating its heat, almost a bit too good. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Come on. Yeah, love a trail. Tell you what, mate, I love a good trail. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Sick. Loving it, absolutely loving it. Yes. Right on a bat. Yes. Look at that. Come on. Ah, oh, that's nice. Uh, you can't park there, sir. Now, when I get to parts like this, I do take it really, really, really slow and easy just because obviously I'm on my own in the middle of nowhere. The last thing I want to do is twist an ankle. So yeah, I'd rather be over precautious. Precautious? Pre precautious? Is it over cautious? What is it? is it? Why do I think it, why does, over precautious sound like it's really wrong. Over cautious, no? I want to be very cautious. What am I trying to say? Mate, English is my first language and my only language, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Sort it out, mate, come on. We're coming up to something a little bit different. Yeah, I think we've got to the end. Ah, okay. Oh well, at least I know. Just guess we've got to turn back and just come the way we came from. I don't know, it doesn't really look like it's holding it up. I, I was thinking like, oh, maybe it's gonna collapse, but it's not really doing much. Echo, echo, wow. <gasps> One, two. It just kills the sound. Look, I don't know if you can hear it. One, two. <gasps> that is so cool. One, two, three. Can you hear it? That is crazy. I'll tell you what, if someone came walking down that trail now and heard me shouting one, two, three, four with my head stuck through this fence, they're gonna run off. They're gonna think, I'm not getting stuck down this dead end with this kid. That is really interesting.
One, two. I really hope you can hear this. I'm dripping on the camera and on the mic. I'm so sorry, guys. I really hope that you can hear this through the GoPro. One, two. That's mad. Hello, hello. Wow. Yeah, it's just like a vocal booth. Wow, that's just like a vocal booth. That is literally just like a vocal booth where it just stops any sort of echo or, wow. That is so cool. Bit of a mad thought, but if you're a singer and you wanted to record something, I don't know, I just feel like this would be a really cool spot to, to record something. Right, let's pick, a, let's pick a song to sing. Okay. Oh, I will survive one love For the city streets one love For the hip hop beats one love I would do believe One love is all we need Wow. Amazing. Just thinking, who knew that at the start of this hike, it would, uh, there would be a part where I'm stuck my head in a cave singing Blue One Love. I do worry about myself sometimes. Do you know what really pisses me off about humans? Right? Look. We have been given, yeah, this wonderful world. Do you know what I mean? Like, <sighs> humans, man. Come on, guys, sort it out. <sighs> That's just like, oh, come on. That's so annoying. Okay guys, I think I may have found the spot for sunset. Oh, I'm just gonna crouch through here. Oh wow. Oh yes. Oh my God. He's done it. He's only gone and done it. Huh. This. Oh. This is gonna be unreal. Look at this. Wow. Mission complete. I am going to sit here. Actually, I might sit in the shade for a bit. But when the sunset goes, I'm going to sit there. And I'm just going to take it all in because this is unreal. Almost two and a half miles. One hour, six minutes of hiking. A lot of vlogging. Uh, singing in a cave. <sighs> yes. If you come to Ibiza... Right, yes, I completely get it. Go to the club, see the DJ, see the nightlife. I get it, I get it. But if you can, just get out for one evening or one daytime, maybe not in the daytime because it's be boiling, but if you can get out in the morning or in the evening and do something like this. The thing is as well, right, is I know, well, I don't know, but I'm assuming that there's gonna be hundreds of trails like this on this island. I cannot wait for sunset. That is gonna be gorgeous. Right, I'm gonna sit in the shade. I'm gonna have a little drink, have a little chill. So there's about 20 minutes left till sunset. Um, I've just literally been sitting on this little ledge, just doing nothing, uh, just thinking nothing, just taking in the views. It's been very peaceful. I guess you could call it meditating, kind of. I don't really know how to meditate properly, but it felt something on the lines of that. Okay, not only is the cloud blocking the sunset but there are a ton of ants i've only just noticed them i don't know if they just come out when the sun goes down but yeah i'm off um <laughs> i did not realize that was gonna end up like that okay the temperature has got so cool so for the first time since i've been out here I'm going for a little jog i'm gonna have a jog back said so about 14 minutes to walk so I should be back to the car in about 10 minutes, which is ideal. Lovely, found a nice smooth route as well. You can hear in this house here, they've got a singer on. Sounds like there's quite a lot of people in there actually. Wow, that must be beautiful having a villa there, looking out there, probably having lunch. Uh, sorry, lunch. Probably have some dinner with your friends. You've got this singer. Wow. Unbelievable, man. 
Good luck to them. Perfect. Found the trail back down. I don't know if you see it, but this water here, that's where the beach, that's uh, the beach where we started. So we are really close now. And you know what? <clears throat> I think when I get to the beach, I mean, it'll be rude not to get in the sea. I've got a towel on me. Uh, I'm definitely going to go for a dip because I could do with cooling down a little bit. For some reason, I put my vest on for the run. I don't know why. The sun's gone in and I've put clothes on. That doesn't make sense. Uh, but yeah, we're nearly on the beach and I'm looking forward to that swim. Uh, here we go. Getting really close now. Here we go. We made it. Oh, last little bit. It's a good job I came back when I did because the, the sea is coming in. The sea, the tide. Ah, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, they're naked. Oh God. He's got his, he's got everything out. Okay. Oh my God. But I mean, fair play to him, uh, but he has literally everything out. I was not expecting that. Uh, but that sea looks unreal. I'm definitely getting in there. I was walking back to the car, I found this little calf and the perfect finish. Load of mussels, load of bread, olives, aioli. What an absolute perfect finish to a wonderful evening.